it's Nikki welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new in today's video as you can tell by the title we are going to be doing a Sephora savings event haul we're gonna be talking all things what's good you know all the sets that are good and I just want to show you guys what I got and like what I would recommend and things that maybe I didn't get this year but I've gotten in the past that I would recommend so let's just get into it. Sephora sale is like one of my favorite times of the year because I feel like I can splurge on myself, splurge on my loved ones and not feel bad about it because I'm like look I'm getting my discount. But if you don't know Sephora has their rewards program and basically there are three tier tiers. I believe the first one is just like a member, second is VIB and the third is Rouge. So the discount goes by um tier so i know vib is i believe 15 percent, and then rouge is 20 percent off i am rouge so i did get 20 percent off for the sale um also sephora collection is 30 percent off which is amazing because sephora collection has some great staples that i think everybody should try so let's get into this so i'm going to start off with my online orders that i haven't gotten yet but i have been such a big fan of the rare beauty liquid blushes i do have one of them right now i believe it's in the shade joy and i decided to get the shade happy i'll put everything on the screen so i decided to get the shade happy and i'm very happy about it such a great formula it lasts you forever and so i just thought let me add like a more pinky toned so that when you know spring summer comes around i'm I have options next i got two shades of the natasha denona high glam um brightening concealer so i got shade mp10 and n4 so i got mp10 like to kind of spot conceal and then n4 to kind of highlight um i really was interested in this because of the name so it's a medium to full coverage crease proof serum concealer um I believe I tried a crease proof concealer this year the makeup by Mario one and I did not like it it just wasn't for me I'm hoping that this is different um and I'm also not used to serum concealers so I did want to try that um I'm all about like natural finish and hydration under the eyes so I'm excited to try it out and I'm hoping that it's even going to be good for like the spot concealing also PS did you guys notice okay we got the red pajamas and the red lip like we're really living out our holiday fantasy it's the holidays we're getting into it we're getting festive next item so i got this item in store at a sephora and kohl's um i got the rare beauty everyday rose lip oil and liner duo so this one is i believe in the shade delight for the lip oil and the lip liner i've never tried rare beauty's lip liners or lip oils so i thought i might as well um get the set and it looked like a really pretty color so i'm excited to try that um i don't know i've never really tried like a stained or like tinted lip oil so that's gonna be definitely interesting to try but i'm all for it you know i do like rare beauty's products the stuff that i've tried so far so that's fine next thing i got was the sephora collection i got the rouge lacquer long lasting lipstick i got it in the shade no regrets bra nude i got this because i believe that i saw that it was a dupe for it's either a dior or chanel lipstick um this is gonna be like a high shine finish like a lacquer um and this shade is like a they describe it as a brown nude so um i just wanted to try it because i like sephora collection items and why not it's cheap it cheaper um but good quality and it was 30 percent off so i decided to get that i got the merit mini flush bomb their trio it comes with three different shades of their flush bombs um and i believe one of them is a limited edition it is a red and i really wanted to try out like red blush this year so i was like why not i have a shade of this and i absolutely love it it's great for no makeup days and days where you want to have a natural everyday look um or even like i said no makeup days if you have nothing on your face but you want a little bit of blush it is the perfect formula for that um i don't feel like it moves my foundation underneath it blends in beautifully and is super natural and just lays beautifully on the skin so i'm excited to try all of those shades out i picked up another one of the sephora micro smooth um multitasking i believe it's like they call it like a powder foundation i'm trying to find mine now to show you guys i beat this thing up it is my favorite all over the skin um setting powder because 
they do label it as a powder foundation so it is something that I literally wear every day if I have any type of product whether it's skin tint you know foundation I put that on top and my foundation lays beautifully it's long lasting and it's not heavy on the skin it doesn't make you look textured um and I've gone through a couple of them already I believe I tried it for the first time like a year or two ago um and I haven't gone back. I used the shade 40 tan, but I think I got in store today, I got the shade 35 bronze just because I felt like the shade tan is more like a summer color for me. So I'm thinking the shade 35 bronze is gonna be more of my shade right now because um, I don't have a tan. Um, so I'm gonna try that out. And if not, like I can mix them together. I've never used this on its own um, because it is supposed to be like a powder foundation I guess but I've never used it on its own I'm not really like a big powder foundation girl but I will definitely use a powder foundation on top of a liquid and I love it it really lasts all day and it's such a lightweight formula like they really like snapped with this one okay so for the in-store items I love it when you have like a bag of items and you get to just pull 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 so this is that rare beauty duo um, I believe it's a full size lip liner too. I think it's full size items. I don't know. I think. Here are, is that Merit kit. So it comes with the shade Beverly Hills, which is a soft peach, Fox, which is a warm taupe, and then Rogue or Rouge, sorry, Rouge, which is a cool red. I wanted to talk about these. So these are the Urban Decay. These are their 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. So they have a set. This is from a set of three. It comes with the shade Perversion, Rockstar, and Whiskey. So it's a deep black, like a purplish uh, burgundy, and then a deep brown. Um, and I wanted to try these because I wanted to play with my makeup a little bit more this fall slash winter. And I really wanted to play more with my um, pencil liners. I have a whole bunch of different colors, which I'll be playing with more on my channel. Um, but these I just felt like were a staple and really easy to use. And I believe it was like three for 39 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. So this would definitely be a really good steal, especially with your discount, whatever tier you are at Sephora. To get Urban Decay liners on sale is rare um any a lot of these items like you won't technically get them on sale really typically but um so these are a staple these are waterproof as well so these are always like really good to have next item i got charlotte darling <laughs> i got the charlotte silver airbrush flawless finish complexing complexion perfecting micro powder i got it in the shade two so i wanted to use this as like a pressed powder underneath my eyes possibly um just because i set with a loose powder but i wanted to kind of see what would happen if i were to set with a pressed powder then a loose or i just wanted to kind of play with my makeup a bit more and i have a feeling that i will like this so i did buy the full size i mean if i don't i'm going right back because it's not cheap. This is like $48, I believe. Yes, this is $48. But of course, you know, you get a little discount or whatevs. But this is what she looks like. So I think it'll be good for under the eyes. And I'm hoping that it helps with um, brightening and also kind of like the creases because sometimes I do get creasing under my eyes. I mean, I think that we all can and it just depends on the products that we use and how much we use. So I really wanted to try this out. I've heard nothing but great things about it. Next thing is going to be this Jisoo Honey Infused Lip Oil. So I literally was standing in Sephora with my mom and like I was in front of the display for this and I was like, mom, like this is $32. Like I, tell me I don't need a $32 lip oil. And she was like, get it for yourself and I was like well if you say so so I did end up buying this um I really wanted to get the one I believe it's a limited I don't know if it's limited edition but they just came out with it recently it has shimmer in it that's the one that I really want I didn't see it but I was like let me go ahead and just try out the formula um this is a honey infused lip oil so I assume it's not going to be sticky super hydrating um the packaging, I believe, is glass. When I picked it up and was looking at the tester, it was very sturdy, very nice. It was giving very luxury. So, I mean, it better for $32. <laughs> but we'll see if this is worth $32. But um, I love me a good lip oil, lip gloss. Like, I'm just that type of girl. So, I will spend an amount 
on a lip oil or lip gloss, clearly. So next I have the Topicals. This is their Brightening and Clearing Eye Masks. I wanted to try this because I feel like I've been getting like dark under eyes for some reason. I don't know if it's a lack of sleep. I don't know. Um, but I also wanted to kind of I wanted something that would help with like hydration as well which i've been using something for that as well that i'll talk about um but i just wanted to give these a try this is a pack of six for 22 dollars which isn't too bad um i do like the topicals faded line in general i use that serum all over my skin which they sent to me um and i really like it so i thought that i would give this a try because i haven't had like a bad reaction or anything to their other products so it seems to be good and then I had to, I got the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade Vanilla Beige. This is a gorgeous shade. Like, I was looking at the different shades online and the models and I was like, Vanilla Beige is going to be my girl. Um, this is $24. I really had a hard time putting this in my cart and being like, all right, like, yeah, give me this $24 lip balm because... I don't know it just better rock my world like it better change my lips for the better um because 24 dollars for a lip balm like i can get my carmex you know but i'm excited to try this i i'm one of the girls i am jumping on a bandwagon like i don't know I had to i had to so one product that i've been loving lately that i do think you should pick up during the sephora sale will be this um bobby brown vitamin enriched eye base so i do use the vitamin enriched face base which is great but this eye base is so good you only need a little bit so i really think this could last you a long time and i use it under my eyes like right after i put on my spf i let it sit i do like my, my face makeup and everything it's so good. I really think it helps with the way that my concealer lays underneath my eyes. It is just such a nice and hydrating formula. It is a little bit thicker, um, but I really like that. I've liked it so far. I never really used a, It's technically like an eye cream, but I really use it more as like a base for my makeup. And I've been enjoying it a lot so far. So I think that this is definitely worth picking up, especially on a discount, because why not? Um, another thing that I want to talk about, so I have this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, this full size lasts you forever. And I got this uh, in a set from Sephora, probably like last year, um, in one of their holiday sets. And I'll put it on the screen. It comes with like a mini of the setting spray, the Hydro Grip setting spray. And now they have their new version, the mattifying version, like the Pore Eclipse, I believe it's called. And they have a set for that as well. It is worth it. This is literally a full size product and you're getting it with a setting spray for a good price. Like I think that the sets for Milk are worth it. I just didn't get it this year. Um, I honestly might go back and get it. I don't know. I don't know because this is my girl. This is really that girl. Um, I really think it helps with the longevity of your makeup. So this is good. Another thing that I got, this is the Dior. This was their um, set, uh, gift set. And it came with like a little Christian Dior bag, but it also came with the Dior Show Maximizer 3D. So it comes with their serum, um, primer for the lashes and then their Dior show iconic overcurl. I really wanted to try this mascara because of the wand um and I just oh my god this packaging is so cute but um like I don't know I just think it looks really good on the models it looks amazing and I'm hoping it looks amazing on me as well Another thing that I feel like everybody's been talking about is this Patrick Ta, their holiday set. I got this from the Patrick Ta website, actually. Um, but it is such a pretty palette. These shimmers, beautiful. These creams, amazing. Um, and I used also the powders. I've used everything in this palette and I really, really like it. This is going to last me forever. Did I need to buy another, you know, Rare Beauty blush because I have these? No. But did I? Yes. Like, you can't have too much. 
Did I need to buy the Merit ones? No, but did I? Yes. Like I, I've been obsessed with blush and I like the fact that it comes with like the eye toppers as well. I have been wanting the like glitter eye toppers, like those single ones. They're not even on the Sephora website anymore. Like this is just insane. I need them in my life, but they're not on the website anymore. So I also really recommend product, another product that I've been loving. So these are for like the under eyes, the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Love it. Love the texture of this and the formula is just really nice and it, it's really nice under the eyes. And before I go into this, I'll use my um, Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener and this combo is so good. This on its own, amazing. I am super surprised because I was like, what is the point of this? And I see the point now. Um, the applicator is cool. I don't really care for like you know the metal tip applicator but i see why they did that for this product um and it's just overall such a nice product and it's an experience when you use it you have to try it like it's so good i also recommend the merit beauty the bronzing sticks i've had this for a year and i'm just now like towards the bottom like this product is going to last you forever and i you can use this on like your no makeup days where you just want a little bit of bronzer or like when you're full glam so good so amazing super easy to blend out too not patchy i really like this last thing i'm going to recommend are the fenty beauty complexion products okay the eavesdrop and then the blur stick eavesdrop these are amazing um depending on your skin type you have to try these they're blurring they have great coverage it's literally medium almost medium to full to me like you can really build these products up with it not being heavy on the skin and her shade range is amazing of course it's rihanna and she's always made people feel included and these products are just such great formula like i i don't break out when i use these even when like i wear masks and i have like these on i don't break out and I really like the stick formula. I feel like the stick formula gives me a little bit more coverage, especially because you're applying it and you're building it up easier. So it can give you more coverage than the um, the liquid formula, but these are both amazing products. Okay guys, so that is my Sephora savings event sale haul slash recommendations. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. Don't feel guilty. It is okay to splurge on yourself, all right? We deserve it. We're hardworking. We deserve it, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what product you're looking forward to getting this year on sale from Sephora, what gift set. Oh my gosh, I almost literally forgot about the one thing that I wanted to talk about, the Caudalie gift sets. Caudalie, one of the best skincare brands that I've ever used in my life, has transformed my skin. It's amazing. And I love their Vino Perfect, um, the line that's for like dark spots. I'm going to put it on the screen. That set so worth it you get a full size of the serum and then you get a mini of i believe the new eye cream the moisturizer i also bought a full size of the serum like way before the sale like so i had it stocked up so i didn't get the set this year but if you are looking into trying caudalie the set is around 82 bucks and the full size of the caudalie serum alone is 82 dollars and then you're getting a mini of the moisturizer which is going to last you a long time same thing with the eye cream so those sets are so worth it if you look at the value of them and look at the sizing of the products totally does great holiday sets so get your hands on those if you've been um wanting to use them they have newer products as well for like anti-aging and um acne like if you have acne prone skin so look through all of that because those are like some of the best gift sets that i have ever purchased from sephora so Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below one product that you guys are going to be grabbing or have grabbed during this Sephora savings event. Don't forget to shop, spoil yourself. You can get gifts for people. Like, it's just a fun time. Let's just have some fun with makeup therapy and shopping therapy, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. So thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Shouldn't be no hold up, roll up If I lost emotions, show up If you're down to roll up Meet me on the west side by me